And we're back once again now. We're sort of halfway into the evening here, or maybe a little bit past. Um, it's Navi and TSM now playing on cash. Best of one game here for the ESL ESCA Pro League. How do you feel about this game, do you think? I think it's going to be one of our more even ones again. Mm. Oh, no, never mind. Wait, you just said cash. Yeah, uh -huh. never mind. Navi are going to get uh, stomped into the ground. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I be more direct? Are you I gonna mean, be? Are you gonna go full Moses? Or is it gonna be? Is, it, is there zero percent chance that they? Zero percent chance. Zero percent. chance. Absolutely. Like, wow. Zero. Uh, Moses be proud right now, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Navi lost a Penta sixteen six on this map. Still. Have you seen Gaudi? And I mean, you know, put Gaudi. Oh uh, yeah, in individual skill, sure, but it's just like TSM are a superior cash team, and TSM are a superior team team. Yeah. Right it's now, true. as it stands. You and do so, have guys. You know, I'm not, like I'm not going to try and weave this tale of perhaps you know there is a chance. There, I mean, there's always a chance. It's just that this happened this time. You know, it happens to be a, a zero percent chance. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I see. All yeah. right, well then, um, no, I mean you have you you've got some some good points. I I'll, I'll give it to you. Do you have this? There's a little bit of logic behind there. I wish, I wish. There you was wish. A dream. Okay, okay, I'll give them like point one chance. You know, on the outside chance that Guardian just goes completely mental. <laughs> and Navi are somehow able to maintain an economy that Zeus doesn't force by every single time, depriving Guardian of his AWP, that Guardian can actually have the economy to get an AWP and hold on to an AWP. Maybe then, if the stars align, Navi have a chance. Okay, on the other side of things then, um, are we going to see Negevs and shotguns and stuff for TSM in that case? <laughs> I can see it, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. hey, dude, if Device, if Zipnix, I mean, if those two guys keep playing the way that they're playing right now, uh, I I find it hard to believe that Navi are going to be able to just like run in here and and stomp on TSM, or even put up much of a fight. You know, they're going to be like kittens, trying to go up against you know, a tiger. Not well, a tiger kitten. Not a tiger like kitten. Tiger tiger. Fully grown one. All right. Well, are, are there um, such a thing as Danish tigers? <laughs> Only that in you the don't zoos. Dissect? There are actually not even any dangerous animals at all in in Denmark. It's like the it's it's probably you know the most meat country. In the <laughs> sense. It's not much going on there. The only animals are the Danes. I think we have like foxes and maybe like a badger if you look really hard. But like that's it. That's that's the that's the worst <laughs> thing. Someone like if you know. Because, like, Sweden has, like, wolverines and stuff like that, you know? Not, like, you guys don't have that? I think that's, no. like, supposed to be the fiercest thing apart no. from moose. But moose are just generally supposed to be pretty dumb. So We just think... reintroduced, I think, uh, like, otters and beavers in some kind of a part of the country to, like, try and get them back. So, no, there's nothing that will ever kill you in, like, Danish nature, ever. Like, that's just <laughs> Otters and beavers, they'll kill you with their cuteness, Anders. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. I, I do love... Uh, both of those animals. Good times. Um, TSM and Navi uh, playing here. Best of one game. And Sipnik's off to a pretty good start. Samler says 0% chance. And we'll see if that's going to be true or not. Flamey taking off to pre here. So back into a 4 versus 4. And Navi trying to make their way back onto the B bomb site. Carrigan is in position to get some sweet um, one clicks with the USP. And Sipnik's is continuing on that same path as well. And Navi seems to be just sort of almost oscillating back and forth between the A bomb site. Not really sure. What's going on, or what they want to do? Uh, they just well, they're getting picked off one after another, Anders. That's exactly what's happening here. Device decides to give ground, but they're still Zipnix alive on the A site, and so the defense hasn't necessarily been cracked there. They do rotate a man over towards Link. That should be Cajun. Yeah, should be Cajun, seeing as how Kerrigan is currently lurking out in exactly Toxic. So he takes out Edward as he comes through vents, and now it's going to come down to Flamey. At least Flamey has the bomb, oh, but uh, he doesn't have a life. You know, Just he doesn't have any anything going for him right now. That, like, everything, all the headshots that TSM got this game, or this first half here, were just all, like, so smooth and, like, very calculated. Nothing, like, spammy about it. Mm -mm. Just, um, kind of a disappointing round for Navi. It doesn't seem like they got any fights. They just showed up to get executed at various points on the map, you know? And Guardian goes for the full buy as well. I mean, Guardian is good with the AK, but Guardian, the goddamn op! He's like yeah. one of the best offers in the world. He had, a, I mean, if not the best right now, when he's on point, like he just looks unstoppable. So why is he forcing up Deagle Kevlar? Um, do a little bit of damage and receive way more in the middle, I guess. I'm not sure. I, I agree. I, I think it's a mistake that Navi have made a lot in the past, and you, I think that's why I think you brought it up initially. Um, that you know sometimes they forget about this fact, and then they end up playing as if though. 
Yeah, they didn't have him on the team. Device going to be taking out one with the MP9 here and looking for a couple of more kills. Sipnik's picking up a kill on Susan. This is a pretty <laughs> easy defense. What was that, like five straight seconds of non-stop yeah. shooting? <laughs> Thank you, P90. Should make it a thing to, like, someone should do that where you have two people on the bomb side, both P90s, and one guy shoots, and then when he stops, the other guy takes over, you know, crouching into the same angle while the other guy's reloading, just, like, mm -hmm. keep shooting. Like a full minute of P90 fire. So many bullets, and I'm wondering if Zipnix was close enough to hear that step. He might have been just on the edge. It's not going to matter anyway. Zipnix goes for the jumping M4. Seized is gone. 2 0. Very clear cut um, approach right now for Team Solomon. I mean, even though they might have been they might have been in danger of getting overwhelmed, considering, you know, Device Cajun, they both had MP9s that round, whereas Navi went for the full buy, or for the force, right? Um, there might have been some something there, but. Navi just too hesitant. They just didn't try and commit to go through that smoke in any way. Even after going for the for the smoke execute of their own, right? It's like, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I have a little bit of hope now, you know, that they go for a full execute. They actually know some of the smokes for the A site, but then they don't actually try and follow up with, like, flashes through TSM smoke. They don't try and actually, like, rush out through that smoke then and take advantage of their smokes. It all just kind of dissipates, fades into nothing. It's very sad times. See if they can get close enough to get the kill on Carrigan. He's playing right at the edge of the smoke here. They're going to go for a triple boost, and probably Seuss is going to be making his way out here. Carrigan, I don't see him living through this, but he could probably get a kill or two, and that would be enough to slow down any kind of aggression. This, though, might actually be a much better position for him to be in. Edward, going to get shut down mid-air. Device is there as well. Only going to get the one kill, though. Bomb is down in the middle. Device out in the open, and I'm glad he managed to find some cover back here. Dupree, <laughs> triple mode down with the B90. It's happening again, Samla. Yeah, no mercy. Not a shred of mercy in these Vikings. Cajun goes for the AWP. Ooh. Uh, and, um, yeah, Michael Levy on, on Twitter is telling me that I'm I'm actually forgetting about ticks, you know, ticks in Danish nature. Because they do oh, have, like, diseases and stuff. It's but true. They, that actually, ticks are probably the most dangerous thing we have. That might be, actually be true. Worm disease, is it? Yeah, you know, stuff like that. I yeah, think no, that might be a thing. Ticks are just horrible, man. I really like to think about it. It gives you the heebie-jeebies. Cajun, though, getting baited out there. So now they know where the AWP is playing for, at least. Navi have a little bit of info to go off of. Not sure if they got the info that Dupree is boosted up in defense, though, so that could definitely ruin their day if they decide to go into mid unprepared. Uh, device. Crouching around by the forklift, hoping to find an opening on somebody. Navi still being extremely defensive on um, pretty much all parts of the map. Guardian. Hoping to catch someone over at A, and Seuss actually with a bit of a blind shot through, but does tack up Dupree a little bit. See if he can get more done. He's sneaking out here, making a little bit of noise. Flashbang in once, and here comes Dupree with the P90, but he's going to get shut down, and Seuss doing a really good job here. Double kill for him, and Guardian picking off Device as well, so a nice start to this round. Yeah, very lackluster there. A bit, too, a bit too telegraphed, especially Dupree wants to shot out that vent. Zeus knew 100% that somebody was up there. He didn't. He wasn't going to get caught off guard by any other kind of play. Edward in the back lines is going to catch Zipnix. And it's just one of those rounds where it's going to get written off by TSM as something that's, you know, as of no import. Just because yeah. I mean, they, they all just kind of lost these weird duels. Cajun is going to be able to pick up the one, but then Zeus is close enough in vents. Cajun definitely heard that step, though. You'd think he has. Somehow they've managed to walk right past each other. I think Seuss has the superior angle, and it's going to be a nice triple kill here. Yeah, Seuss recently, I think, I mean, it's not recently, but it's been like four or five months or something of Seuss just playing really well. So um, I'm I'm just always pleased to see him play. But I think you're right. Telegraphed is definitely the right word. Like that flashbang into middle, it's a good idea. You can see how it works in principle, you know, setting up the flashbang, Dupree coming out of events, but like the, the gap between those two things happening was so big in like professional terms, that's way too long. So um, yeah, I agree. That was just a little bit weird. Uh, Zeus is not going to mess around. And so, well, let's see. Plenty of money still for TSM. No surprise that they get full buy off of this. Now, though, the question is Navi. Now they get the free AWP for Guardian. So he's going to be loose somewhere on this map looking for a kill. Flamey is going to catch Zipnix, and that's just through the door. So Zipnix, he's already shown that he wants to go through spraying there, and it seems like Flamey, he was able to find the right angle to pick him off. So right now things are actually starting to look up a little bit here for Navi. It is getting better and better, and we'll see if TSM are going to try and switch their style up at some point, because they're right now playing fairly defensively. Carrigan going to go into the fight there, but Cajun goes down. That was in the vents. He was counterbooted up there, so good job on Edwards to sort of stay keen on that, but 
Kerrigan will take the shot and Device will take down Flamia. Now it's switched back around in favor of TSM. Seized and Guardian are left and they are spread out all across the map like opposite sides with a bomb in the middle and about 40 seconds. So I, this is just like a really, really tough round for Navi to try and win back. Especially this. Oh, that is unforgivable, Dupree. Yeah. That needs to be a kill. 100% kill right there. But it's not going to happen. And now, well, they are going to be able to be hot on their heels. And Kerrigan is very quickly up in events. Bomb hasn't crossed its way through to Toxic either. Easy shot onto Device, but Kerrigan did it. Yep, there you go. And he gets the bomb control now. So now, 16 seconds left. Seized. Is he going to be able to pick up this bomb? He has to find the kill, and it's not going to happen. Kerrigan brings it back for his team. Talk about the perfect spot to be in there, Kerrigan. And Navi yeah. leaving that bomb all the way back in T-spawn. They get punished. There are so many funny things happening. I mean, Guardian turning around and waiting for it, but then the fact that, like, who, I think it was Dupree or whoever coming up from behind, like, crouched in them with a the knife. Yeah. It's like, is anyone here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Someone's here. All right. Well, four and one. Big round there for TSME. You know, they only survived with one member. Um, it still is a, a big win for them. And obviously, the fact that they only survived with a one is obviously the reason why now we have gone for this uh, force up here. Just trying to see if they can make it work. Galil, Tech 9 in play. Limited grenades. But I think still enough rifles here that it's definitely worth it to try and go for it. Oh, there it is. Device holds his own. Spots the man going to forklift as well. So now that allows for him to rotate around. Zipnix there to take out Flamey. It's going to be down to Guardian now. Zeus takes out Kerrigan, but Dupree again there to hold the line. And now a two-on-four situation. Navi, no bomb plant. Molotov down into the open. And Guardian still managing to sneak his way out. Seized. He desperately wants a kill. Someone just walk into his cross as he is thinking and pick it up. And there's Cajun giving him just that. So now it's down to Sipnix and Dupree here. From a 2 versus 4 into a 2 versus 2. Dupree sneaking up from us in hand, looking for the angle. And again, now he's playing this one so well. They're letting TSM make all the mistakes. They're just standing still, more or less, and saying, just come get us. I think C spotted a guy out there by the truck. Going to try and take that fight, but Dupree wins it. And he's going to go down, guarding with a double Sipnix hiding in sight. He's been very good in these kind of positions here lately. Sipnix is going to win it as well. Guardian goes down, and it's down to 29th health for Sipnix. So, I, d I mean, the fact is TSM played this round very poorly. They... Lanavi the just stood and waited, and TSM had four members still alive, and they decided to give up two of them just because they were getting impatient. Just, yeah, exactly. Lack of patience. Trying to walk in and uh, see if they can find anything, and... Yeah, Cajun in particular, that one, that one is a bit too much. So, I mean, but it's still TSM hanging in there by the, basically just by their fingertips. I mean, it is going to be finally a pistol round here for Navi. Eco for them. Just P250s. No nades to work with. So TSM, you know, they do get the right idea going for double MP9s. Just trying to farm up a little bit of money to work with. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not ideal. Fresh smoke goes down here as well for Zeus. So, I mean, right now... Navi, they're all just kind of floating around trying to discuss, you know, what can, what can we actually do here that's going to be effective in the next round coming up because that's when really it's going to get to be crunch time. They need to start putting more than just one round on the board. I mean, especially because I think TSM is actually a team on this particular map that have a track record of getting pretty bad CT sides and then terrific terrorist sides. So the fact that TSM is already doing well on their CT side, I would say, is a big problem here. A lot of uh, SMG kills here. Three on carrying it with the MP9. A lot of money in his pocket. Seven to... Oh, sorry. Seventh round in there. But six to one now for TSM. A very good start indeed. And again, we're getting into that position again where... Guardian can't afford the AWPs. Gonna have to keep going for the AK instead. Uh, at least Kerrigan is going to be able to yeah, more than afford it. And I would I actually like Kerrigan playing it because he usually plays Link at least at the beginning over at mid. So he can he can try and lock down that mid area in case Navi try and boost over quickly. Instead they're going for aggression again. They're gonna put somebody real close to garage, real close to drop. Trying to listen right now. That's exactly what's happening on TSM side, trying to get that audio information going. Seized. Getting a headshot on Dupree for good stuff for Navi. See if they can build something in behind this. Edward into the mill, but Cajun is there, ready for the boost. Shuts him down. Rifle at least going to fall back in the hands of Navi. Cajun is going to make it out just fine, so... Bit of a shame. Navi, I mean, they... They needed that entry, and now it's sort of been reset. They needed to build on it, you're right. 
now it's definitely not ideal. Two players alive on this site. Device and Zipnix working so well together. Great trade frag there. No luck for Guardian. If he'd been able to pick up Device and got away, or at least managed to close off the angle from Zipnix, that could have been great for Na'Vi. But then Zipnix right there taking the peak. One for one trade again in mid. And Zeus has been spotted. They don't show the bomb though, so still TSM don't exactly know where this bomb is going. Kerrigan's still not making the right call, or making the right call, that is, to stay around on B. They haven't pulled back. They've just kind of fallen back to the point where they're going to be able yeah. to rotate very quickly, TSM, but they haven't fully given up the defense. Although, as I say that, they are rotating a man into Link and giving up A. Yeah, but I mean, they'd much rather play retake on A than they would on B, so keeping Kerrigan close makes a lot more sense. Simix just has to spot out whoever is there, and he's going to go for the fight. Flamey taking some damage. Zeus also very low on health here. Bomb will go down, but TSM can definitely retake this. It's much easier on A than it is on B. Yeah. One thing is they don't have any nades to work with. Kerrigan has to swap out for the M4 and hope that they can actually catch somebody out of position here. Flamey's stuck behind Forklift. It comes down to this shot onto Kerrigan. Does Kerrigan, does this actually work out for him? Does the timing work? No, Flamey's there to pick up the first spray. And now it's an impossible situation for Zipnix. He's not going to be able to pull that off. And finally, a clutch situation goes Navi's way after getting robbed like twice in a row. They actually get something going for them. They are going to be putting TSM onto an eco as well. Although, as I say that, before I even finish the sentence, they go for a full buy. Or at least the force device with the hero op. Can you say it with a Danish accent? <laughs> what? The tilt op. <laughs> tilt op? No, I can't. I, I try and avoid that at all costs, basically. <laughs> Come on, Anders. He is actually Danish, people. Just so it's, you know. um... I mean, the, the the Danish accent though has it's like recently oh, wow, gained a bit of traction as like Bond villains have like started. There's like a bunch of Bond villains in the last two like Daniel Craig movies that are like Danish and like all the all of that. Really? Is, yeah, yeah. I don't know why that is. Like I've I've never thought of it that way, but that's become a thing now. Device though going to be taking down Guardian and it'll be uh, four versus four now. So <laughs> and talk about a shock for Navi. <laughs> like they're, oh great, they're eco. Finally, they're eco. And then it's like nah, bruh. Take a nap. Yeah, and then the vice of all players as well. He's just, I mean, on, on sort of a personal note, he's been hitting a a huge high for a very for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. But the bomb is over in B halls right now for Navi. Four on four. They still have all the nades necessary, quite a few Molotovs as well, so there isn't going to be much space to work with on the B side itself. They're using the clear out checker. That's wise. It's a very smart play from Navi. Early rotation as well from device. We're going to lose to Zipnix. He was holding on A, and there's still enough time here for Navi to back out if they want, and they're going to do just that. Bomb slowly working its way back into Garage. Cajun B could spot that rotation, and he, no luck for him. Can't get that headshot. He gets the info, at least for his teammates, but there's just too little time, too little space to actually make anything of it. Yeah, they should be backing off here, I think, TSM. It's not really worth it to get with the rifles that they have. So pretty good job on Navi here. I mean... Not running into the B-bomb side and getting potentially uh, stacked there, but just making sure that they got the, the counter rotation coming out. So, 3-6. It's the beginning of something here. And if it was any other team in TSM, I would say if Na'Vi can just get up to like six rounds on the first half here, they'd be all right. But I think they need more than that. I think they, yeah. they, they need to get up to like eight or nine or something in this first half because TSM are such a scary team on the T side of cash. Exactly. This is definitely one more, one of those... One of those maps where Navi just have to kind of beast TSM, no matter how hard that's going to be. They just have to kind of come out and at least get like a standard half scoreline for the T side, what we expect to see these days, which is at least six to seven rounds on T side. So, yeah. Whether that happens or not is a different story. And Dupree really hoping to find that AWP, but Seize is going to hold that on. Guardian is clapping his hands together like, yeah. Because both times that he's actually had an op, they've been picked up. So, really, it's just like TSM. They realize, you know, that that's what's up here, Anders. They feel bad for Guardian. They're like, we know that Zeus just keeps asking you to force and keep asking you, you know what, so here we go. We're thinking of you, bro. Have this op. A gift from a friend. That's not too bad. Well, TSM, on the other hand, I mean, they could use a little bit of... Uh a little bit of money in their banks here, and Device is going to be able to pick up Guardian early on, so they may have given it, you know, the Lord giveth, the Lord take it away, <laughs> and that's kind of thing. It's going to be stolen straight away. Device will go down, though. Flamey opening up the door and getting that kill, so good job on him. Now that Orb is in play on Carrigan, and see how that's going to play out. Now Zeus is going to get his way all the way into Checkered. Instant headshot, though, so that's going to be a little frustrating for him. But Edward worked his way into Z. He's going to take out Kerrigan as he rotates over. There's still a man holding in CT towards the B site, though. 
Maybe they can get the backstab, and yeah, they will be able to at least do some damage to Edward. And oh my god, they both run out of bullets at the same time. Edward down to 2 HP, and Zipnix, he nearly takes out Zeus as well. Wow. Oh, that's so frustrating. One more bullet from either one of those would have done the trick. But no more op. No more op for TSM. They just don't have the money for it. But this is the key round, isn't it? Where they have to just put a stop to this. If Na'Vi get past this point, TSM is going to be a little bit more difficult for them to actually just close this out nice and clean. Yeah, TSM are sitting at the top of the league right now with a huge round score difference as yeah. well. So they are in a really good spot. I guess they don't they don't technically need to like shut this this down, but I mean everything helps. And um, see, they don't have any money left from this buy. So if they lose now, Navi can pretty bounce from four right up to six rounds before there's anything TSM could do about it. Kerrigan playing close middle. Pretty hasn't hurt that many people yet, but he's going to be able to rotate in quickly if anything happens. And look at this. Na'Vi changing the pace here, going very quick, and Sipnik's down already. And that's going to give the, the bomb side. I don't know if they realize yet, but Device is the only one close by, jumping up on top of the smoke. He can't see anybody just yet. Kerrigan coming around the back, getting one kill. Dupree's there as well. And now, where's that bomb plan at? Seuss is very low on health, and Kerrigan with the perfect timing gets one, gets two, and it's down to Guardian inside Squeak. Trying to see if he could somehow defend against what's happening. It was never meant to be. Too many people. I mean, not, this this could come down to the lack of experience on this map, and that's why you know Navi might be just like trying to grind to some cash maps and actually get some experience on it, just to figure out these timings, because they go for the very fast execute. The whole idea is we're going to be in there quick. They're not going to be prepared for it. We kill the first guy in this case, Zipnix, and that we've got control of everything, right? And it just doesn't seem like they've ironed out like how to position themselves and how to play out that uh, the rest of that round once they get control of the site so early on. Because after that, it was just Kerrigan getting boosted up, everything just kind of falling apart for uh, for Na'Vi. Well, I mean, so many of the other rounds that Na'Vi have played so far have sort of evolved around a, like a different path, which is they get the entry frag and then they lose the entry frag and then they lose the round, you yeah. know, like, so they, they get one, they lose one, and then it kind of like turns out in favor of TSM. So I'm kind of, I can understand why they'd want to try and speed up a little bit behind this. I think they might have realized that a boost was going on when they see a guy running back like that. But the vice picks up Flamey, and it's going to be favoring TSM so far. And Guardian actually had money to buy an op this time. So there's, there's something. Link Smoke going to go down. A little bit of a flash as well. Not the best smoke, actually. It's a little deep. But they do spot the man out in vents, but not before Cajun B can take Zeus's face off. So two-man advantage now for TSM. Make that three as Kerrigan peeks out and takes out Seized. And it's going to be down to Edward and Guardian now. If ever there was a time for Guardian to shine, now is it. He's going to get that bomb at least, but they're just going to consolidate the defense on the site, TSM. They, they can have two guys on each site, no problem, no risk. And actually, Guardian's just running all the way back into T-spawn. So yeah, that's the call here that's being made. And... Actually, I'm curious. Is it still Zeus or is it uh, Starx? Or is it rather is it still Starx calling, or have they swapped back to Zeus for Navi? Because for a while there, Starx was actually the one calling the shots for the team. I haven't heard anything to the contrary, so I'm just assuming that it's still Starx doing the doing the work here. Mm -hmm. It's in the coaching road still, but um, probably it's going to be a little bit. Um, it's going to be just a little bit like floating, I imagine. Like I think I think Zeus will have a lot to say. He's been calling for Navi, like in the Navi organization all the way, you know, back to, to 1.6. So it's, uh, it's, it's not, it's not for nothing that he's in, the, he's in this role. So I think, I think he'll still have a lot to say. All right, eight and four right now. Navi's economy looking very bad, but they did save a couple of rifles there. Might be able to spread it around just a bit. TSM coming out alive on that round with everybody living. So yeah, all five people still uh, doing well. All right. Edward immediately suspecting a bit of a counter boost there, wondering if since the models are failed, someone might be coming up behind them. Sipnix, oh, he's covering the squeak door, but so Karrigan going to pick up the one kill, second kill there on Flamey, who tried to sneak his way past, not going to be happening. And Edward now deciding, might have to do this all on my own. He does put the flash through, but he's not committed to it just yet. Once he goes through, he's actually going to pick up the kill there, and Cajun feels like he could have been there to help out. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication as Sipnix goes down. It's all of a sudden turning in favor of Navi. This is looking very good. All of a sudden, now Seized has got a position on the site. 
He can take a duel with Kerrigan, who's in a very awkward spot now, considering he doesn't have any eyes now into uh, into mid. Cajun is still waiting around. But so long as Cajun is there, Kerrigan is safe. But yeah, exactly. Now the game is up. Zeus will get caught by Cajun. There's still a lot of work here for Cajun to do. He's got If he's going to go up short as well, Seized, I'm pretty surprised that he actually decides to change up the position. But it doesn't matter in the end. That was just, that was a very odd round. I don't know what Cajun was doing this round, but as soon as Flamey, oh sorry, as soon as um, Edward went through middle like that, yeah. it seemed like there should have been, they should have been able to sort of uh, crossfire him through vents and mids, so I'm not really sure what that was. Some miscommunication, perhaps? I'm wondering. I'm wondering, there was a smoke down, so maybe he didn't want to give away the fact that he was up there because Edward's on the other side of the smoke. Um, well, he sort of pushed. I mean, he was right at the edge of it. So, like, I think he had, he had pushed like slightly through. Good shot from Carrigan to bring down Suit early on. So TSM still holding on, just barely. Also, economically speaking, they're very low I can themselves. Hear Zeus raging right now. It's probably that split second where Guardian isn't getting boosted up in time. Is Zeus running around the corner? Guardian's supposed to trade frag, and that's what's happening in Zeus's mind, at least when he makes that call. But. Not this time, and now it just completely falls apart. Navi getting desperate in that space of time there to try and bring something back, trying to get a kill, and they just throw away another two players. So we're down to 8-5, the score, and TSM, they're in a very, I mean, solid situation now to close out this round. Yeah, and this is a very, very bad turn of events here. Cajun coming up from behind. Flamey trying to see if he can escape. Cajun going to get the one. Guardian also being sprayed down. Just enough bullets left to make that happen. 9-5 moving into the 15th round, and I, I mean, Na'Vi, they need this last round, and they need a lot more than that. Mm, and now it's just going to have to be a brutal force again. And are we just going to see that change of pace now from Na'Vi? Just straight YOLO, straight no fear kind of play. Just go running right out onto the site. I mean, Zeus, he's got the Tech-9. He's, he's just got a handful of nades to work with, not very much. And the rest of them, they're all just, they've bought what they can afford. They can only get the pistols and the Kevlar. A couple of rifles, though. Seize does have that AK, and we can see him here in B-Halls, hoping that somebody's going to try and get a patient here on Team Solo mid-side. And he is definitely going to be expecting some kind of boost play to be happening. But then with that double wall of smokes down, there isn't really a whole lot that he can do apart from wait and see if somebody's just going to be suicidal and try and push through that smoke, as we can see. And it goes off again, so, you know, patience is key here for Seize. Just uh, getting a bit bored on the other side, perhaps. Carrigan in the middle. Ready and waiting in case there is going to be a boost. It seems like it will be a B hit, and they're going to try and see if they can flood their way through vents as well. Good shot from Dupree. Edward also dropping low. Molotov there to force him back. It's right on the bomb as well, so now they're in a lot of trouble. Dupree a little bit mad with the grenade. Not sure what happened. He's down to two health and getting a bit of backup from Carrigan coming through the vents as well. It's still a two versus two here. A device with a good shot on Edward. And now Flamey. Spray on one, but is he going to suspect the second one? He doesn't get a headshot, triple kill, and now we're going to win the last round in spite of, I don't know, a fairly weird push there that I'm not sure if it wasn't for Flamey, that would have been a good round for them. I think that was literally TSM just, like, the Kerrigan push, everything kind of just falling apart. I mean, it was just good shots, good shots. It's hard to say what, what, what else. It just seems like maybe Device and Kerrigan could have paced themselves a little bit more. But uh, they just decided to rush out, try and put the, put the pressure on Na'Vi, never really let them recover. And yeah, you're right, if it wasn't for Zipmix taking a bullet to the face from Flamey, all things considered, that should have been a TSM round. Well, see if that one bit of luck at the end there for Na'Vi is going to be what gives them a, a way back in the game. If they win the pistol and bring it back to 9-9, we could have an interesting game on our hands. I guess Kerrigan's position worked against them in that last round. Because he was playing from sandbags, yeah. right? Instead of playing from shorter link, where he would have seen them try, when he, he would have seen the three Navi players push out from mid up into vents. That's true. Like a split second, like half a second, or even a second warning for Dupree might have been just so much better. Would have been able to allow the defense to get set up properly. TSM. Historically, they've had a lot of games where they've done really well on the terrorist side of cash here. So we'll see if it's going to be one of those days where they uh, they do improve dramatically playing the T side. They got four armors, and they got carrying them with flashbangs and the smoke, so they're going to make their way in through middle. No help from Carrigan and Edward picking up two stunning headshots with the pistol. And a lot of presence here for Na'Vi in the middle as Edward finally goes down. Cease is going to help out, and Seuss could have been shot down in the corner there, but Sipnik's feeling a little bit 
paranoid and has to check behind him. Oh, with the timing there as well. Kerrigan, there's the flash, but pre-fire from Flamey. He doesn't have any of that. Sit down, time for a nap, and it's going to be Zipnix. He's going to spot the man coming out from Vince, but he doesn't even get the kill. Zeus now, all he has to do is sit and wait. The whole barrage, just everybody running after oh. Zipnix. And can he actually make it over to the A side to get a plant? Well, he could have, but um, he's going to stick around here. Fakes it with a decoy. They're coming around the corner and no luck at all. I mean, he couldn't see what we could see, but there was actually nobody near bomb sites. That would have been hilarious. But it's going to be the round for Navi. TSM, no bomb plant. Are they going to go for any kind of tricky play here or are they just going to save? It's going to be the mix. No? Two, three deagles. Four deagles. Wow, the force. Only Kerrigan. Oh, sorry, Odin Cajun having to be an outsider here. And Dupree just not going for Kevlar. Hmm. Let's see. Dupree starts off strong by taking out Edward. Kerrigan does some damage to Zeus, who barely lives through that fight, that fight. But Zeus is still up close to vents here. And there we go. Dunknade. <laughs> wow. Well, Sipnix to follow up on Guardian, who is no stranger to some deagle play. It's going to bring us back in a 3v3 right now. Plenty of time, and that A bomb site a little bit undefended. But again, a lot of teams will prefer to play A as a retake. Nice shot from Device is going to shut down Seized, and he's going to get the second kill on Zeus too. What's happening? The Deagles just wrecking Navi in this round, and now Flamey all alone. Trying to see if he can sneak up here. Device is not going to try and challenge. Wants to make it back to safety up on the box here, actually making the long jump up, and Flamey. Very hard for him to predict. He actually has got a clue about what's happening. He sees the edge of the vice, but can't find the kill. And he's walking into a crossfire as well. This is a very bad position for him to be in. And now they're all going to peek him. The vice with a triple. Two of them deagle headshots. TSM bring it right back. Unreal. Just un What can you say about that? Like, device is just godlike in that one round with the deagle. That's all it boils down to. The second kill. You think trade frag? Okay, right. He gets the first guy on A site. That's going to be fine because then the guy from CT truck is just going to take him out, right? No. Device lands a sick shot on the man in CT as well. And that's just individual play making the difference for TSM in a force buy situation as well. Which isn't you. I think that might have actually caught Navi off guard as well because it isn't usually what TSM favor. They, they're a team that, you know, in the past have actually stayed away from the force buys being willing to just go ahead and save up for the big buy round. But Guardian showing that he's got some deeg action too. Yeah, Seized up on the high ground here. Going to be jumping down, lands a headshot on Dupree. Beautiful play from Seized. And Guardian, second headshot of the round for him with the deagle. And it's all on Device now. One versus three. So Navi just bringing it right back here. And Device spraying furiously and missing almost all the shots. He actually spots the guy coming up from behind. Takes down Flamey. He hasn't got the bomb, so he has to commit to this bomb site. But he's got so much time here that now we have still got to be a bit careful. Yeah, they can't afford to get too impatient. At this point, this is all about just trying to find that angle. But Zeus has picked up an AK, as we can see, so he's got he's got firepower. Unless Device can hit the first bullet, it's going to be very difficult for him. But right now, Navi, they aren't making the mistake of peaking Device. They're just waiting. They're running down this clock. The pressure is only going to mount, and that's it, right? Zeus takes the position over the, all the way back by CT Truck. Device has no way of knowing that somebody's waiting for him on the CT side itself. And there you go. Done. Very nice recovery there by Navi. A lot of that comes down to Guardian as well with the two kills on his part. The two Deagle kills. Deegs, man. It's just... They're so good now, Anders. They do a pretty decent job, um, not just today, but in the past wow. as well. We've seen uh, we've seen how they have a pretty big impact on the on the on the game. I mean, we've been talking about whether it's down to those changed hitboxes or just more people trying it out. I mean, there's there's definitely like a, an uptake in deagle kills. That's like I guess the change between them being slightly more accurate now and uh, the the change to the head uh, hit bubble. Yeah, that hit might bubble. be uh, might be the you know that the mix of those two make it a very very scary pistol to be facing. Device creeping up, quickly boosted up into the middle here. And uh, TSM trying to make sure that now we don't get too much of an economy going here, even as they won that last round. Edward going to be taking down Dupree in the middle, and TSM going for very much like a slow try and take in the middle here. They almost line up for it, but he's going to get the one kill. He can't finish Sipnix down to 14 health. That could have been beautiful, but back into a 3v3. And there's a man on the site. There we go. Flamey and B Halls. That was so important. Guardian takes out Kerrigan as well. That was in mid, but that's because Kerrigan, he's like, crap, we just lost our teammate. We have to make a move. He gets caught out in the open. It's the fact that Flamey wins his duel. That's the one, that's the turning point here for this round. 
So now it leaves Zipnix with only 14 HP. He's going to be looking at Headshot Box. Or Headshot, rather. Uh, nothing really to work with after this. I mean, 30 seconds left. It's almost it's almost like pulling a Navi at this point. Go and save your AK because you really aren't going to be able to live. Yeah, he might try and do that. They can't have too much money on the TSM side anyway, so for him to just make it out here wouldn't be too bad. Is he going to really try and see if he can actually get the plant down? Guardian hears him running, so this should be a fairly trivial kill for Guardian. Yeah, just stops him. Clothesline. He even looks like a cartoon there, you know, with the way his legs are. It's like, I'm, you know, no, okay. Lying down and running away? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. 17 kills on device, 18 on Kerrigan actually out doing device at the moment. But the scoreline here, 10 to 9. I mean, are we creeping back into this game? They've got the economic upper hand, even though it's not a lot right now. So TSM could definitely make it back in. And um, I, I don't know. I mean, I think mid control is all good, good and well, but I, they were taking really slow mid control. They had three people, almost four people in the middle TSM, and yet nobody was like taking any really aggressive fights. They were all like inching forward, creeping away. And Edward almost got a triple kill because of it. Well, this is a hard eco round coming in here pretty much from TSM and Navi so far handling it pretty nicely. Kerrigan hoping to find a headshot, but he's not going to be able to do it. Seize will take him out and Guardian's still alive on the site. Not a perfect smoke for Guardian. I'm wondering if that's intentional or not on the a on a main. It leaves a bit of a gap there, so I'm wondering if that's bait for Guardian where he's just like, I, I encourage you to try and peek against me. But, um, you know, against... I guess the lack of experience throwing that smoke, but I doubt that in Guardian's case. I think that might be intentional. It could be. Um, that's, I think, of a very much unexplored part of CSGO is, is you know, sort of throwing smokes that look like they're good, but they just, like, there's a pixel that you know about, and that's very hard for you to predict. So, um, yeah, I feel, like, uh, I feel like something that could happen a lot more. There are different maps where it's still very much possible to, to play around with stuff like that. Especially if the other team is used to identifying a particular smoke, you know, they, they know what it looks like, except it's not quite that, it's only close to being like that. Edward, you're gonna be going down here, Red Carrigan falls next to Preen Device with a good follow-up, and now it's down to Flamey and Guardian, and this could be where they lose a lot of control in the second half here. They don't have the money, Navi, to take any kind of big losses here, so saving AK and AWP right now is a really big priority for them. It's crucial. And Flamey right now, if he can get into the back lines, if he could be the one to actually find a kill within the next split second. And that would have worked right there had he actually won the duel, but they peek together TSM, they don't give him the chance. And now it's all on Guardian pushing into A main, but that bomb can go pretty much wherever it wants at this point. I mean, Flamey plays B in general, the man already cleared it out. I'm not sure who, I think that was Cajun who pushed his way onto the B site. So they have the info, they're going to get the bomb plant, and Guardian, he isn't really going to find too many people out here. No, not having a good time at all. You know, you know what other movie I was watching on my way to the to the states this time around. I managed to see X Men First Class. Have you seen that? Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to rifle. No. There are a lot of X Men movies, so like you do. I have watched like one a, of them. You watched one of them at some point. There was like one of those newfangled ones. It's still all about the first one. Like, that, that yeah. was the badass one where you, like, meet Wolverine for the first time and everything like that. I mean, yeah, that, that's still, for me, like, pretty much my favorite X-Men. That's actually the weird part about, like, for, for, they have Wolverine in it, but only for, like, one frame. They're just like, hey, hey, here's Wolverine, by the way. Now let's move on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They're just like, I don't know. Probably because Hugh Jackman is just, like, so tired of playing that role. He's like, you know what? I'm done. Like, like at, the, at the fear of offending anyone, like, you, you know how, like, we've got, uh, like, the Hunger Games and Harry Potter and, like, these different movies that are, like, very clearly or, like, you know, like, Teen oriented. It feels like that's what they try to do with, with like X Men. I, I I was a bit weirded out by it. It was a little bit too strange. Yeah, Guardian. Oh, device. <laughs> I I have no idea why he would stand for that long. That would look a bit weird. Flamey picking up a kill as well, but Kerrigan getting a double in the middle and Cajun picking up Edward. I mean, leaving Guardian and seized here. For now, plenty of time for the terrorist side to make their way up highway. And Cease is going to be here. He's going to be close enough to get the one shot range with the. Uh, with the 5-7, but there's a lot of targets, and Carrigan sort of weirdly jumping into that angle, getting a triple kill, and now it's up to Guardian. Save this AWE once again. Yeah, once, exactly, once again. Hold on to the AWP. And that's so heartbreaking as well, because Guardian, you see that? He was like inching, like, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more, and then Device was like, ah. I'm just gonna wait here for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I'm just chilling, reading my book. You know, picking up easy kills. Good night, Kerrigan. 
having a grand old time. That battle in mid, though, it just seems to be favoring TSM. That's the second round now. If I'm not mistaken, that's the second round in a row where they get three kills off of just Navi's attempt at mid control. TSM are just too good at hitting those headshots right now. So, I mean, you have to understand that Navi are trying to take control of mid because then it severely limits TSM's options. It forces them into some kind of A execute or B execute. It's much more predictable for Navi to set up their defense. But if you, if you take just like this pitched battle and just lose it every time, that's going to be a real problem for Zeus and Starks to figure out, like, what, what, what do they need to change now? Do they, do they give up mid and just focus on the sites, or what kind of approach do they need to have? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, the, this is uh, this is quickly turning into a problem of economy as well for Navi now. Uh, one AWP that they saved and everyone else can't afford to really buy anything. And if they'd gone for a force up, I don't think I would have been quite on board with that either. So probably TSM will be able to take a 13th round here. And then, I don't know, Navi only he really have one shot more or less at bringing it back. More nades. Nice nade onto NBK corner there, Edward. Down to 50 HP, but all of this is just a fake. All those nades going out. That keeps four people here for Navi. This is an A stack to begin with. Nice little uh, abuse of the snacks corner there by Flamey. He picks up one kill, but this should just basically give it all up here for TSM. They're going to work their way onto that B site, clear it out pretty quickly here, and then they should be able to get the bomb plant for free. Zeus exposing himself just a little bit. Carrigan controlling the middle. It's always so nice to have one guy left behind like that if you're going for that B push. Because if you get the bomb down, then suddenly CT's coming. You have to be focused at more than just trying to retake the bomb site. Harrigan end up getting that second kill too. And Guardian, again, just saving the AWP one more time here. It's all he could do. How many rounds has this AWP lived now? It feels like it's been for a while, yeah. Well, this has got to be at least the third or fourth round. Hmm. Yeah, well, Guardian Ahum is, is right, seized. Anders, because that's, that's, that's the noise that Zeus and Starks are making. Hmm. What can we do now that our economy is somewhat in shambles? After a round of, of Eco, and Guardian at least has his AWP, they're going to have the money, but again, it's not a perfect buy. If they go for the buy here, again, they have to. Yeah, it's just they're going to be light on nades, uh, they're light on kits, uh, light on everything. It's only Guardian who has the money to go for a full, and he's even trying to take precautions right now to make sure that he has a little bit of money to work with in the next round as well. He isn't overcommitting to nades. Or even bothering to upgrade his pistol. And again, they're going at it with a slightly defensive setup here. No really heavy aggression coming out. Finally, they're going to play, put a couple of flashes through, and it might have worked out. They get the kill there, seized to try and follow it up, but he gets downed, and... Guardian is now close range with the AWP scoped up, and if they find out where he is, that's going to be a big problem. He's sneaking out right behind, and somehow he's made his way through here, but he's losing a bunch of teammates right now. He's going to miss the shot, and Edward, last man alive here. Now, one versus two. It's still doable. He can get this quad kill and win it for his team, but that was a completely chaotic round there. I mean, it seemed like Na'Vi wanted to go aggressive in main, but they wanted to fake being defensive first, so they put up their own smoke like you normally would. Edward's going to go down. But they put up that smoke in main, then they walk close, mm. get ready for the flashbangs, and I think they were trying to catch up TSM. The only really weird thing is TSM were already there and kind of going aggressive already, but it is like a way of like being defensive while, or faking defensiveness while trying to be aggressive. It's kind of like a decent idea, I think, for Na'Vi. Just super chaotic. Yeah, it ended up being a those, bit of a brawl. It is one of those rounds where it's just like, we happen to go for something aggressive, they go for something aggressive at the same point, and it's, any, it's anybody's game at that point. So, no, no, the timing does not work for Edward. At least he gets out of there only, you know, dropping 26 HP. So, could have been a whole lot worse for him. He could have been dead. And then it would have been a real sad time for Navi. But at least Navi dodged that bullet. Oh, and they actually chose to go f aggressive. Seized. Up here in Squeak. Do they have any idea? It doesn't look like it. Dupree. Easy kill. And a double kill as well. That was huge there by Seized. Nice, and that's what they need. I mean, Navi, they are on the brink of being eliminated here on cash, and, and partly just due to not having enough money, simply. I mean, this is uh, this is the one round where it all really counts. Guardian winning a fight in the middle as well, and now all they have to do is play defensively. They still need their money on the Navi side. They can't afford to give up any kills here. Guardian going to go down, Cajun sneaking in, but there's a guy right behind him, and he is allowed to get the headshot anyway. A flame is securing it, and now Device is going to catch him out. So it's going to be a kill and a bomb plant as well. 
He's got the AK. He's planting out in the open. He wants to try and TV and play this one for the other plant. Gonna go walk back into check it. They're not realizing yet where he is, and they're making a lot of noise. He's seized. He wins that fight, but he might as well have just gone down. That could have been a very tricky. Navi gonna win the round ultimately, but that's so scary. That is terrifying. They're fully expecting that he's gone for the default plant. Mm -hmm. And did he? I mean, device. He swapped out to an AK, didn't he? Yeah, he did. So I mean, that could have been that could have been it right there if he'd have picked up that initial kill. Oh, the timing! The way that the timing worked, so scary. But because of that plant, now yeah, they actually have some money to keep the pressure up here. At TSM, they're going to be able to get a force buy out of this. Navi's still hanging on just by the tips of their fingers. I mean, they do actually get a pretty decent nade count, all things considered. But Flamey's still very low. No nades for him. Double op though. Okay. This is a way to change things up. Edward is going to take it in. I mean, he could he could go to be Hall's aggressive with it and see if he can't find a pick. Double AWP set up right now for the Navi team. Edward picking up the other one. They got to win five rounds in a row here, more or less. Otherwise, they're going to probably expose themselves to a very, very bad buy for uh, TSM's. Uh, match point, so we'll see if that's going to be a thing or not. Uh, so Seized sneaking on in here, but Carrigan, both of them trying to look at the edge of the smoke, but Carrigan just a little bit quicker there with the AK. And that's a nice opening frag. It seems like the bomb is making his way back to B, though. Two people defending from the Na'Vi team and Guardian. Seuss playing in the connector here. It's going to be a shot onto Seuss, and he goes down. Flamey, they line up. And he's gonna take both, goes for a third spray down, and he's successful. Edward picking off Cajun B and the push completely destroyed here. TSM, no chance at all. Carrigan in the middle looking for a headshot, but it's pretty too little too late at this point. Yeah, and there's the flick. Lightning fast for Guardian, Carrigan is gone. Wow, I mean, Flamey just saving that round for an RV. Flamey's like, who needs nades after all? Or a helmet, or a kit, or any kind of gear. Just give me an M4, give me Kevlar, I'll wreck the day. I'll do everything. Such a straightforward approach there from TSM, really paying for it. And they go for a quasi buy on this round. Couple of flashes, full smokes, okay. And do they want to just go very quickly over to the B halls? It seems like it. Bomb is making its way over there. They're gonna set up for a B split. Because the smokes are going down, so there's a wall in mid right now. Navi gonna be limited on the info. Now they're worried about Vent, so they get real close to it. Molotov as well. All they're hoping for right now for Navi is to just buy a little bit of time with these Molotovs, make TSM waste their smokes. And then boosting up behind Aaron Molotov is not a bad idea either, but Seuss is going to go down. Flamey caught in an awful position here. A lot of targets coming at him, and Carrigan is going to winning it. Edward getting a double and looking for a triple. He's going to look for the quad now. One more bullet would have done it. Cajun is going to go down. Nice job from Edward there. If he doesn't get those three kills, then TSM have a really good shot of winning the round. And that's going to be 14-13. It is still not done yet. 28 kills on Carrigan, just too shy of his 30 bomb, but um, we'll see. Double orb still on? alive here. But what is going on with Na'Vi right now? It seems like round after round it's somebody getting a triple kill. They refuse to give up. It's just individual play, really. They one hero, rather than just going according to plan for TSM, where it's one for one trades that TSM can just capitalize on and just push onto the site behind. It's always somebody coming through. Last round was Edward, the round before that, Flamey. Who's gonna be the hero this time, Anders? Who's going to be the big player right here to keep Navi in this game? Yeah, if there is going to be one, that's a good question. I feel like Seuss, we need to see a little bit more out of him. I've, I mean, he usually has some pretty good rounds. So, um, Guardian opening up. Oh, good entry or good defense in the middle there. Taking down Device. And on the other side, Seuss is holding close to the box. And yeah, we're going to go down to the pre now, taking over Checkered. Guardian playing a little bit defensively. They can just get a smoke up here. They do have one left on Sipnix. If they can get a smoke up for Guardian, might be a way for them to make a cross. And they're going to have to do something. It's going to be the smoke into CT, though. Top flash, and Kerrigan with a fantastic headshot. Seized right on the edge as well. He wants to go after Debris. Debris realizes, but not good enough. Kills come through, and now it's going to be Cajun and Zipnix in a two-on-three. Still trying to get onto the site, but with more time than passes. Flamey with the double kill from the back line. He's going to be able to get in with the flank. And it was all down to the timing. It was all down to how quickly TSM could actually get onto that site. But Dupree getting caught out by Seize was just the beginning of the end. And Kerrigan hit such a glorious headshot on Guardian as well. Yeah. That, that was a really, really good way to, to shut him down. They put the smoke in lower instead of upper. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they had a lot of things working for them there. But 
Not enough. Now we're back to 14-14. The money for TSM is looking dreadful right here. They've gone for Tech-9 armor and a couple of grenades. Looks like they might want to try and see if they can go for a fast hit on the A-bomb side. They got the smokes in the middle just like last time on the action towards B. So they're trying to sell that idea to Navi. There's nobody here. Seized, covering from the truck. A lot of targets and I don't think they need to fight him right here. Just get in, get the bomb down quick and that's what they're trying to do. Guardian going down. Zeus going down. Edward finally with the refrag but Bomb is definitely going to be planted here. Sipnik's on it. He's got the health for it as well. They can't stop him. The device is holding close. And now TSM just needs to spread out. And TSM, this delay on the bomb plant, it's insane. Man's going to die. No, he isn't. Cajun's still alive. But there's a man on short. Easy kill for Edward. And now it's going to be down to Dupree and Zipniks. Both of them stuck behind quad boxes. Nowhere to go. Seize just goes YOLOing in. That's not going to help. If they keep going in one at a time, Navi, this is going to get real tricky for him. If Kaz, now Zipnix has got the AK as well, and Edward's only on 8 HP. Zipnix and Dupree could do this. There's the first kill, but Zipnix, all he has to do is stay alive at this point. Edward goes for the rush, and it's going to be Zipnix clutching it out. Triple kill for him, and a Tech-9 quasi-buy coming in from TSM. They didn't even go for a full buy, Anders. They didn't force it. This was a gamble on TSM's part, and it worked. At they should have never won that round. This should be Na'Vi now well on their way to a victory. And you're absolutely right. The, the delay in putting down the bomb is ridiculous. That took so long for TSM to get to get happening. I mean, good job that Sipnix did such a such a fine job with the bang lines here. And both those kills were obviously huge. And the one last one to follow it up there, triple for him, you're right. 15-14 match and map point right here for TSM. They got the AWP and Guardian. He's got his on the, the CC side as well. Just that everybody wants to be the hero. This man in particular sees jumping in there. The yeah. He did. We got that replay. Could have could have waited. Could have waited till everyone was there and they just all jumped them at the same time. Yeah, a bit disappointing. Uh, we have at least the potential for overtime. Matt Kerrigan. I mean, there's the headshot from Zeus. Yes, but Kerrigan's got the AK that kind of trumps the 5 7 at that range. Well, now, man advantage here. TSM once again go just straight out onto the site. But Flamey, man, this guy is doing so much work. Triple kill for him. Dupree still alive, but not for long. Flamey still doing damage to him. A two on four and now a one on four. And somehow TSM once again just get ground into the dust by Flamey. Triple kill and just saving his team. It will be overtime in the end. And that one smoke that goes up on Flamey's left-hand side is so valuable because it keeps him, you can see it's sort of, it's landing right there. It's, I think it needs to go further yeah, up because right now he's smoke. just using it as a wall. They don't have any idea where they're shooting at and he's just using it against them. So a bit of a mistake on TSM side. I think that's supposed to go further in. Yeah. Um, and that might have set up the round perfectly there. Now we're going to be in overtime and I'm pretty sure it's MR3 and 10,000 uh, starting money. Yes. You know, here's an important point, Samla. If TSM win this, you got to remember to be all like, that's what I told you, like, 0% chance for now. You just like, just hold on. No matter how close <laughs> the game is, just be like, yeah. I'd actually totally forgotten about that. Just be like, nope, that's it. You know, I told you. I, you I got to even... commit to stuff like that, you know. Uh, the thing is, it is just straight aim for Navi. That's all, that's all that, it, that is working out for them right now. It's just straight aim that's making the difference. It's, it's like these rounds that they keep winning. It's like triple kill for Zeus, triple kill for Flamey, triple kill for Edward. I mean... The, those things are hard to reproduce. It's just that Flamey keeps coming through. So, I mean, that round right there is just Flamey capitalizing on a mistake made by TSM. Well, let's find out if the mental reset for TSM has somehow given them enough room to come up with a nice maneuver to put it Navi here and see if they can win the first round of the overtime. Device already tagged up a fair bit. Got to be careful. A grenade up here right now would wreck him. And he's still sticking around with the AWP a little bit scary, perhaps. Zeus is going to get the kill in the middle. And look how tagged up TSM are. Navi is winning every single fight, it seems. And now, I don't know if there even is a way back here for, uh, for TSM. Not necessarily in this round. And then during regular during regular play time, TSM shut down Navi twice in mid, three kills, just like hard. This time Navi choose to go for the mid fight, and it actually goes according to plan for Zeus. This is what how it was supposed to go during regulation time. Right on the edge for the flash though, so he's not gonna commit. And well, they're gonna work their way back over towards the B site, and they need to be able to like, exactly Zeus up in the vents is gonna be able to take out Cajun, and then they still need to find Flamey. They still don't know where that guy is. Device takes out Edward. Zipnix missing a bit of an opportunity, looking for the shot. Zeus, though, not going to give it to him. Zipnix would just, like, he would sell his mom right now if he could have just wall-banged that. 
Look how close they are. It's an awful thought, but not going to be good enough here. Seize picks up one. Sibnix finds a double. Missing the shotgun. He goes down. Oh, no. Sibnix picks up the kill. How did Navi lose this round? Semlin, that one, and the and the Tech-9 rush towards B. Navi are going to be hating themselves if they end up losing this game. Those two rounds are so big. And now, yeah, look at their look at their economy now. Exactly. You need to win the first round of CT if you're starting with 10,000. You got a guy buying an op every time. They have no money left, Navi. It's this round or bust. I mean, first of all, if they win against that Tech 9 round, they just win the game and make it 16-14 and they, you know, that's it. Done and dusted. They take down TSM on cash. But this round could then lose them the overtime, which is almost even more painful. Cajun Dupree now opening up TSM. No, that that was a big round for them. And now they're ready to see if they can pick up on it. Guardian, he did get a kill and he almost could have got that shot through the wall. Oh, oh the timing would have been godlike. Yeah, I was... No, we would have had to, we would have, had to have reported now, Guardian if he did that. Started our own investigation into the matter. Edward flashed and Dupree there to pick up the kill. Two for four now. See if they can hold on to it. Guardian missing a couple of shots here. He's in main, but Seize is gone now, and they're going to put the bomb down. So, yeah, another round here for TSM. Yeah, even with Guardian getting this kill onto Kerrigan, it should be pretty clear. And once again, Guardian should be saving this AWP. No reason for him to go in there and try and... Especially not since they lost the first round. Yeah, go for any heroics. He's not going to... He's on zero dollars, Guardian. So if they get this kill on him... Ah, no, man. This is horrible for Na'Vi now. It's going to be 17. I mean, solo mid should definitely pick up the last round. They're going to be running up against Deagles, though, Anders. Deagles. I, is it scary for me that, you know, is it weird that I'm actually more scared of these kinds of rounds than I am of, like, full buys? And it's like, oh, man, there's so many Deagles. Like, what? anything is possible. I mean, it you makes sense. Right. Oh, wait, Guardian, did he get shot by a teammate there? Did he get shanked by a teammate? I think he did. Because he's down to 39, and that's not going to help. But I think that, I think what happens is also there's like a mental change on whatever team is facing the Deagles. You know, you hear the Deagle come out, and people have like a tendency to say, "Hey, let's just fight." You know, I'll just I'll just stand and take an A fight with you. Whereas, it seems obvious at this point that's not really the good way of playing it. Like as soon as you hear those Deagles come out, you should be like, "Okay, let's use our grenades and make sure that this Deagle guy is not going to be getting a lot of of individual fights." So I think it's like. Um, it is a mental change on the teams that's needed a little bit for that to stop happening. But Edward in the middle, finding the kill on Device, just uh, being a little bit aggressive, and it works out. Yeah, a little bit that uh, Device getting a taste of his own medicine. He's making good use of the Deagle during regulation. And well, now Dupree is kind of just hanging around. They're they're just they're really trying to play this patiently. TSM. They still have some time on the clock. They don't want to run into a trap somewhere. And there is a bit of a trap forming. I mean, already mid is getting pushed up right now. So there might be a backstab going in on this. It's going to come down to whether Zipmix can actually achieve anything over on the B site. Oh, no. But the steps, Edward gets impatient. He tries to step in there, and Cajun hears it. And you got to wonder why. There's almost no way Guardian could have made a call to say, like, he hadn't seen anyone going in through main, so why was Edward in such a hurry? I'm not sure I have the answer for it. See, he's going to be alone. It's going to be three rounds straight here for TSM in the overtime. Oh, Edward, I, I don't know why that would happen. There must have been. I, I'm, I'm tempted to give Edward the benefit of the doubt and say someone on this team must have made a call uh, that was obviously horribly wrong there, because otherwise that's not really a very logical thing to do. Um, yeah, I don't know. That was this. This overtime has been hard on Navi. No, uh, it's heartbreaking. This always seems to happen to Navi as well. It's just, just weird, very weird situations. You remember, like in the in the first. Like, the, the first Envy iteration and Fnatic 2, when, when Envy and Fnatic were like, I guess that was LDLC and Fnatic then? Um, the, this was like uh, the, LDLC White, 2014, end of 2014? Yeah. Or so, LDLC, just yeah, not just, White. Yeah, just LDLC and Fnatic. When they were like the two teams who were so good with pistols, like, every t like you know, yeah. they still are, but, you know, when everyone was quite angry about it and everyone was saying, oh, the C set is super overpowered and everything, like, the pistols are so good, LDCC, all that stuff. Man. LDCC, you're right. When that was happening, I think we had a similar discussion as to the one we just brought up with the deal here, which is that it's also a little bit down to enemy teams learning how to play properly against them. And people have been a lot better now at playing against the uh, the second round pistol force up. Mm -hmm. So I think similarly, people just need to identify that, oh, it's a deagle. I'm, I I know that my AK may be better in like a lot of situations, but if we're taking like a long one tap fight, the deagle could just as easily come out on top. So why am I doing it? I shouldn't be doing it. He got that shot. Oh my God, Guardian. 
Two shots, both of them through walls. No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He is too good. He is so scary. Can we can we make can we like rename him Guardian, you know, instead of Guardian? Easy, yeah. Guardian like it has that. to happen. Oh, well, he even attempted the wall bag there. God, ridiculous. Well, Flamey helps out a little bit here. Two big kills coming in for a uh, Navi and device looking for a frag on Flamey as we do have the famous hiccup at the end. <laughs> so Flamey was like wobbling back and forth there as well. Guardian picks up another kill on device and it's going to be down to Cajun and Dupree. Two versus four. Navi have lost an uncanny amount of two versus fours so or two versus five in the overtime there. This time it can't happen. They have to stay alive. Guardian gonna be the one kill here, but he goes down and there is a kill on Dupree that's gonna give them 18 to 16. And um, another two rounds to come with the overtime. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. So he hits the first one and then just gets the second. Guardian. Guardian is so good. What a pleasure to watch. I mean, he's had, it's been a tough time for him though. Yeah. Guardian is just hard to say, you know. Guardian? Yeah. Uh, it's almost like you gotta assume it's like an accent thing. Maybe yeah. you could say that, you know? It's like, oh, yeah, it's just an accent. <laughs> well, double up setup seized. Um, not Edward, but seized instead with the AWP. And Carrigan playing close to the boost. Guardian right on the other side. And you can wallbang that wall, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I made a video to show how it's done and everything, but nobody ever wants to try it. <laughs> Device is going to be picking up Flamey instead, and it's going to be four versus five here. A good start for TSM. Kerrigan saw that Molotov go out as well. Kerrigan just holding real close. Exactly. He knows what's going on. The man stepping. Zeus and Guardian. There is going to be one smoke going through, but it's not the proper one. Although Zeus is going to be able to snake his way through here. Zeus taking out Zipmix is big. Edward right on the edge, and Kari uh, Kerrigan can't get anything done, but there's still only a man advantage, and Cajun be lurking. Picks up two kills. He could get the third one as well, but that's going to fall to Dupree, and Cajun will be on picking up the final frag of this map. And what did I tell you, Anders? Yeah, 0% chance for Na'Vi. I like that. Just got to hold on to it, something like that. Good job. You, you predicted it correctly. We're going to have to give you credit for it. I'm you know, sorry to say that. That's how it works. Na'Vi. Yeah. I mean, I think also, I think I think there were some strange rounds in here. Like, yeah. this, you're absolutely right. This game should not have come down to TSM winning a 2v5 in overtime and winning a Tech 9 force up in that A bomb site when they were like, took an hour to put the bomb down. Like, those two rounds that, like, TSM's life in this in this match did, so depended on that. Mm. And they should be able to win way more against Navi on cash. So, uh, oh, this should, just, have... should be much more dominant, like, yeah. dominant of a win. But I'm wondering because. It's hard to say because Navi have hit a pretty acceptable level on most other maps now. I'm wondering yeah. if they're starting to, to figure things out and start to say, well, okay, Cash, maybe what happened versus Penta is something that was similar versus Envy, right? Where maybe, you know, they got caught off guard with just how hard Penta were hitting. And then they after that map, they look at Cash and like, okay, what did we need to change? I mean, because they have Starix as a sixth person there on the team, he's also going to have a bit more time, I think, to try and, and look at more maps. So it would make sense for them to try and pick it up. Like, it's, it is... Yeah. Uh, a big gap to have in your map pool not to be able to play cash right now. Especially as there are so many American teams up and coming, getting better and better. So, like, you know that they're going to be playing cash as well. You might as well try and, like, uh, and at least get some some level on it. Well, it is like the, the Navi mindset, uh, though, is, they, you know, if, they're, if they feel like they're behind on a map, they have a tendency to just kind of give up on that map and poo-poo it, right? Nuke. Yeah. Or they're Nuke. like, oh, well. You know, yeah. everybody's so good that at that out? map. How did that work out in that one Star Series game when it was the third and the final map? How did that work out in that one major yeah. Versus Fnatic. Oh, yeah. Hard. It's really hard having a map that you can't play at all. Next game coming up is going to be between Virtus yeah. Pro and Fnatic. Um, and it's going to be on Train as well. So that's going to be tons of fun. Mm -hmm. Really look forward. Love seeing Train. So, um, well, it should have been uh, 10 minutes ago. But We've um, done we're, it three just, times, bro. We're, we're, we're getting a little bit uh, behind here um, on time. Yeah. If you are just joining us here late in the in the game, if you're a little bit late in this evening, it's been a really good evening so far. And it's not not even done yet. We've got two games coming up still. Um, but um, you should go and check out the Score Esports and also download the application for your iOS or Android device or both. If you have one of each, you can do it on both if you want to. Yeah. Um, you know, stay stay active with uh, everything that's been happening in this and other leagues too. And also, obviously, the um, 
all the other articles and stuff like that there. So go and check that out. We'll be live as soon as the people are on the server again. We're a little bit behind schedule, but not too much. So we'll try and get the yeah. game going as fast as we can. It's going to be train between VP and Fnatic after a break.